welcome back everyone. I am your humble host, Peter Stockbridge, and this is episode 3 of our Joaquin Phoenix's Joker sketch. So we left off last time with working on the jawline, getting some of that depth right, and we're continuing on with working in some of the eyebrows on his right side. I've decided to be quite forceful with this project and I've subconsciously I think it's just because it's probably better to just run with it than overthink it. I'm trying to sort of get into this might sound a bit mental, but I'm trying to get into his mindset and the character's mindset. And um, I'm trying to sort of marry the cartoon with the realistic. I've decided that I want to, you know, see if I can mix the two together somehow and maybe also add in a bit of chaotic... Um, elements. So at the moment I'm just working on doing the rest of the makeup, uh, his eye and his eyebrows now, getting that to a satisfactory point. Once again this video is sped up by twice the amount so I want a decent amount of time to sort of go past as I explain and you know explaining it whilst it's in real time can take quite long so when you have to do a deep shade it's always a good idea to start light just to make sure that you've got the area right and then commit go in deeper and just judging the correct shade. It's, it's not so easy sometimes and you can get bogged down in too much overthought. But as I, as I have just mentioned, this one I am literally just uh, going with it, not really thinking much about it. It's probably for the best, given that his character is quite um, unpredictable. And he's, he's certainly captured that um, aspect quite well. I hear there's a sequel in the works um, for the movie. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Uh, I, I, at this moment, I kind of trust Joaquin Phoenix to take on roles that mean something, you know, roles that are good. So, uh, you know, if he's kind of into it, then, um, you know, I'll give it a go. And I hope I'm not disappointed if there is another one. But, yeah. If there is another one, then, you know, it, it definitely sort of lays the groundwork for a really scary Joker. And uh, his portrayal is all kinds of, all kinds of mental, so. So yeah, I am looking to 
get this done fairly quickly, I suppose. Next few days, hopefully. And um, I need to move swiftly onwards to uh, Harlequin. And uh, need to sort of tear through that as well. So the time has probably come now for me to do the bottom side of the face and start sketching in the rest of the details of the white makeup. And really the, te the technique that I sort of employ here is when I'm doing detail, I initially just sweep through it with a guide of where I want that detail to be. So I'll just roughly throw in, as you can see, like here now, I'm just sort of throwing in the rough sort of, you know, shape of it all and just go around everywhere, putting it in where I want it. And then at some point, Probably in between episodes again, I'll, I'll just sort of go through and fine tune things. This is on the subtle side, so it might not actually come through very well. So, yeah, just doing a quick pass of that. And then I'm going to jump in with um, the red, uh, the red makeup on his nose and over his mouth. Going to be finishing off the mouth today as well. And here I'm just sort of going through and I'm, I'm noticing some breaks in the pattern of his white makeup and, and some of the skin underneath has come flooded, has come through. Uh, so like here as well, quite prominently. Um, I'm consciously trying not to make any mouth noises. Um, <laughs> I think it, uh, I, it's fucking irritating when other people do it. And so I, one of the things I always try to actively avoid doing is, uh, is making just gross mouth noises. If I can uh, hold my breath when I'm not talking, uh, make it better. <laughs> so with the hair now, I am literally just sort of forcing some deep shade into the hair at the back end of it. Um, working in some darker areas just because it's still not sitting quite right. And I th kind of think that's a lot better. Um, not overly satisfied with the shading on his right eye up there, but we'll, um, I will get back to that. All right, going back to the jaw now. Now this kind of looks a bit harsh um, at the moment, but you'll see as I grade it all, um, it, it works quite well. This is usually kind of one of the last sort of stages, you know, putting in the final shadowing.
Okay. Sometimes it is could be quite tricky and annoying and um I I kind of sometimes just sort of miss the blatant, <laughs> you know, when it comes to shapes and stuff. But to be fair, I am fucking tired at the moment. I, I don't really know why I'm tired. Well, I do. It, it's, it's well, it's either because I'm a lazy bastard at the moment, or it's because of something mental. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I have a funny feeling I know what it is and I have started to sort of do more walks um, and, you know, try to sort of do something active. I've, you know, sat in front of um, my canvas board and, and my computer screen, you know, working on various things and I have kind of neglected um, taking it easy a little bit. Um, I know I've taken a break, but uh, I think, you know, in general, I, I mean that I need to sort of uh, just be more active anyway, you know, take more breaks. Because, uh, it, it, you know, this kind of stuff does take its toll. It, it doesn't look like it does, but... Um, for some reason, yeah, I just find myself really tired. So, I've had some uh, back problems as well. I might have mentioned this already. And uh, it's okay at the moment, but it has been killing me. It's not a nice feeling. Nothing that a bit of ibuprofen can't sort out though. Pop three of those bad boys and uh, within 20 minutes, everything's a bit better. Anyway, yes, cracking on finally with the red makeup around his mouth. I feel like it's his time. I am always very mindful of sticking to the right to left um, plan because I'm left handed and I don't want to smudge things. It's become sort of an, an automatic process that I go through. I make sure that I'm not going to overlap anything too much, um, if at all, you know, so. This is, this is why you'll see me break away from doing one bit and then working on another. It's just because I want to, um, really just sort of do it in order, but, um, still remain a bit free form. I have a plan with all of it, it's just that because his character is so chaotic, I found myself um, sort of being fairly chaotic with the drawing. Oh, and yeah, all my um, editing project files. <laughs> Uh, for things like this, we were all sort of just wiped. I, I have no idea how that happened. Um, but I went to load up my usual edit file and was nowhere to be seen, couldn't find it, still can't find it. Um, so I've had to resort to uh, a temporary measure. Uh, I'll probably keep it like this until this particular project is done because I just want to get the project done 
and then I'll try to do some rebuilding. I mean, it's, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, but God damn it, I had it all set up and it's completely vanished. Um, I did, um, I could swear that I backed it up as well, but apparently not. It's really mysterious, actually. I'm going to have to do further investigating. I, I, I don't think it's because I'm just being thick at the moment. Um, yeah, if I am being thick, then I'm a bit worried. <laughs> So we're about just over halfway now, and um, we're working on doing the shade of the red makeup on his nose. Um, rather than map in the bright areas of the nose and the shadow area, I find it's easier to just sort of do a plain color all over, right, get the shape. And then you work in the shadows, then you can erase in the highlight. See how I'm doing that now? Just grabbing an eraser, just going over the area where it's highlight. And that's roughly right. I will go through with a finer rubber, my electric rubber, and I'll, I'll sort of, I'll make that uh, look a bit better. But... As I said at the moment, I am literally just sort of getting it all to a point where I'm mostly happy with it all. Then I'll be uh, stepping back and taking a look at it, deciding where I want to add in more detail um, and where I want to be more chaotic. I think I am probably going to have to watch the movie again um, to get some inspiration about what background I want to put in. I don't want it to be a plain sort of background. I don't want it to be a scenic background. I want it to be a sort of uh, perhaps an expression of his mind. Um, so I. I I don't know whether that's going to be doable, first of all, so I'm going to just sort of watch the movie again, see if there's some, uh, you know, a solution I can come up with that works. Um, if there's not, then... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's usually about now where I come up with the sort of, you know, Eureka moment. Yes, that's what I'll do. But um, it's not happened yet. So it's coming together, isn't it? Um, yeah. I'm quite happy so far. Sort of tweak that bit up there. Um, yeah, quite happy. Just want to um, get this mouth done before the end of the episode. Um, got his uh, teeth to do. And yeah, I've got a guide for this bit down here below his mouth. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm just making sure that I've, I'm lined, I'm lined up um, with the, the guide that I've already set out. So I'm, you know, 
I, I make, I'm just making sure that I'm doing everything as I've planned. I don't normally do this. I don't normally, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I don't normally stop halfway through a shade and then go back, uh, go back through with a with a shadow, like I'm doing now. I normally complete the shape and then go back through. But I'm so conscious about not smudging anything that I'm just sort of being a bit out of the ordinary with it all at the moment. So we've got some um, skin coming through again up here above his upper lip. I'll bring some of that through. Again between his nostril and the, the fold. I'm, I'm not running. I, I do have a loose plan, but I am just all over the place at the moment. I, I am so tired. So I, I will. Um, I'll, I'll get some rest before I start tackling the next part of it. I want to be rather fresh faced and, uh, you know, more able. Um, if you've got any suggestions about what might look good in the background, um, put in a comment on this video, you know. I'll see it pretty much straight away and um, we'll comment either way. But um, yeah, I am uh, fastly sort of approaching that point. I would say the next episode is probably going to be going to be me tackling the hand in the foreground. It's going to be quite tricky, but I'm just going to, you know, get that done. Uh, we're probably going to be starting the, his clothing around the blurry hand, uh, and then the episode after that is probably going to be me finishing off the rest of his clothing. So with his teeth, I've decided to do a, a, a very light yellow wash and then a green wash to bring out that weird kind of, you know, orangey, greeny, sort of browny tint. Um, and... Um, then I'm going through with a brown, a brown, the sort of edges of the teeth. Um, he hasn't sort of been looking after it. Um, so, uh, yeah, some of his teeth are all whacked out like that. And uh, just going to make sure we get all that nice and accurate and minging. It's great fun mixing in colours and knowing that the more subtle you are, the better it kind of will end up looking, you know. Okay. So the next step is to fill in the areas in between. In this case, we don't see a tongue. 
So we're just going to black it all out. Then the next step is doing the final upper shave of the teeth. Sitting behind the gum. That's it. Making sure that's all blend, blended in nicely. Then we're just going to do a, a final sweep with some deep shading where necessary. And that's sort of the, the, the teeth pretty much done right there. It's, it's, it's one of those cases where you just have to trust yourself because you know you've got the colours right and they do look right. Um, when you come to finish off everything else, like I'm doing here with the, his red makeup, um, it does all start coming together. So we're coming up to the end of the episode now. And uh, if you like what you see, you know what to do. Um, you get a rolling monthly chance to have your request sketch uh, done. Um, it can be of anything you want. Uh, there are terms and conditions, obviously. No nudity, no under 18s, Jesus. Uh, but if you have an idea, it can be of a celebrity, it can be of your pet, it can be of a family member. Um, it doesn't even have to be filmed at all. I'll do it all for free. Um, if your uh, request gets chosen, that is. So, uh, you know, give it a go. And um, until the uh, next episode, which will be out very soon, um, I'll see you then. All right, guys. See you later.